Welcome to your local Chad Gang Society here and today we're gonna be drawing a line here, okay? If you like the video, your team Chad. Dislike the video if your team Activision. Now here's the situation, okay? Last week Drifter made a video and today he made another video and apparently he is angry. So we're gonna be checking the video out. And last video, he told the community absolutely nothing, okay? He was like, hey man, I actually found out that there's a way to reverse boost. There's a way to find bot lobbies in Warzone. And he tried to be a decent human being and you know what? I can respect it. Obviously a lot of people are really mad at Drifter. He sent the information to Activision and you don't do that dog you don't send the information to Activision because now Activision <laughs> on the homie they got their schlongs involved and instead of like you know fixing this <laughs> they screwed over Drifter they screwed over you they screwed over the entire community and the word around the street here is that Drifter made a video and he did get angry hey guys Drifter here today I've got a bad news video for you about cheating in Call of Duty Warzone do you remember the bot lobbies video that I made about a week ago exposing that there is a guaranteed way to bypass skill based matchmaking it easy lobbies and you may yes, remember after that there was an explosion of new and interesting cheats exposing certain streamers record holders and uh, tournament players for possibly abusing this there was a growth in apps and widgets and stat trackers and even sbmmwarzone.com that showed you your levels and stuff well activision decided to just censor pretty much all of that instead of addressing the cheats or addressing skill-based matchmaking or working with the community somebody somewhere up the chain at activision decided to pretty much restrict the data that the cod api makes public in a way that cripples the usefulness of all of these websites this is classic activision what were you expecting were you expecting activision to give you a foot massage were you expecting activision to give you a hand job seriously what were you expecting my g they aren't outright censored but they are greatly restricted and I think crippled would be the best word on top of all of this I feel personally responsible okay time out here man my man is actually taking it on the chin that is that is crazy I decided to expose that there was a cheat and instead of giving that to the community, a lot of people in this community are very much like burn it to the ground kind of types. I decided to be responsible and pass it on to Activision, hoping that they would fix this and that, you know, the you don't do that. You really should not do that. When we're talking the community and we're talking Activision, you pick the community side. Drifter definitely made a big mistake. Huge, huge mistake, huge mistake. But it's fine. It's fine. He can come back from this. I believe in him. I believe in him. The community wouldn't abuse it and it wouldn't ruin the game. Well, instead of fixing it, I, I don't know if a fix is coming or not, but at least for the time being, they just decided to make it less visible, literally like sweeping dirt under a rug. At the most optimistic that I can be, I can assume that this is perhaps to keep the tournaments that are already scheduled somewhat more fair and prevent the nah. other little apps that would show you immediately if you were in a hard or difficult lobby no longer work. So maybe they didn't want people lobby shopping in tournaments. No, nah, they, they want they want people to lobby shop. You gotta understand here, like if they did not want people to lobby shop, they would have been just implementing an anti-cheat system. They would have probably addressed the skill-based matchmaking. Did they implement that? Absolutely not. Where's the anti-cheat system? Where, where's the skill-based matchmaking addressing, man? Where, where is that? Like seriously, just get the F out. <laughs> I'm not saying that to Drifter, okay? Drifter is a good guy, okay? He's an alpha male. Despite what the homie eight thoughts would say, okay? Little Facts no prayer, Facts cheating, no prayer. Or it, it, that's even just taking advantage of an API got better, but then every single conceivable other thing else got way worse. And it just mm, it, yep. it pisses me off to no end. And it also pisses me off that since I was there the first is. person there to speak is. up about it, I'm gonna end up taking the blame for this one. I'm gonna end up being punished for being responsible. No, the dude, like, we're, we're talking video games, dog. We're talking video games. It doesn't matter. Like, if you're good in video games, that doesn't mean you're good in bed like that. What works right now is that you can re-enable some of the data about yourself by signing into your Call of Duty account. You need to change the options on every single account that you have linked to your COD account. Basically, you'll go through there and show your uh, data and your searchability. Uh, mine was by default set to all, but you need to set it to none refresh the page, wait a second or two, and then set them all back to all and refresh the page again. Damn, and then dude. when the COD API updates, your data will now be visible and searchable to the public. This seems like Call of Duty Zombies Easter egg out here. There are so many steps and you gotta understand that people were down to do that, okay? People were down to find out who was in skill-based matchmaking in lobbies, who was cheating in Warzone, and Activision was like, hey, well, you like that? Hey, seriously, get it. You can see your own lobby data and it's basically a complicated 
opt-in process to visibility, and it also doesn't work consistently. I tried to do it and make a full example for today's video, but as of recording, I still cannot even see my own stats, and according to people on Twitter, they also have not been able to properly re-opt back in. Now, I did throw this out on Twitter, and I had Who's Immortal from the Carnage group say that once they opted back in, they were able to see their stats, the lobby difficulty, and stuff like that. It's no longer live. You don't know if you're in a hard lobby or not, but you can review what it's been like for the day. However, you can't click and search on individual players. It'll just show you your own individual stuff. So I guess there's kind of a workaround, but that that's that's a complicated one. And realistically, how many people are really going to opt in to this? Yep. And is this even the first step? What if it gets even more restrictive? What that yep. means they, is that every... simply, they're simply limiting the data here, and that is what the homies dislike. Okay, like we were all asking them, hey, address skill based matchmaking. And when people discovered that, okay, there's a way to find out who is in the skill based matchmaking lobbies, who is reverse boosting. And you know what? Here's the thing, right? Like, it doesn't matter who was reverse boosting, it doesn't matter who was bypassing the skill based matchmaking lobbies, no YouTuber would have came forward. Okay, to me, it doesn't matter, right? Like, if you reverse boost, if you don't do that, to me, it doesn't matter. It's just a video game, right? But let's Let's say like people who care for that stuff like I, I totally see where you're coming from cheating in video games that's just kind of lame okay but really think about it if these websites did not exist if people did not smell cap there is no way youtubers would come on and be like hey man i i reverse boost every pro player streamer record holder whatever is going to have to go through this process and opt in to make their stats public as mm -hmm. of now there's no requirement to do that and they can basically just opt not to. Even some of them might want to, and it might, like me, may not be able to, or it might take a long time, or might have to find some other kind of workaround, which means that if anybody is cheating at a high level, either to get YouTube content or to stream or in tournaments or whatever, they can just opt out YouTube of all content. of this and keep the cheating private. It actually, the, the decision that Activision made to restrict the API makes it harder for the community to identify people that are cheating. Now, they still have all the data on their end. They could probably yep. do it. But visually on my end, I'm not going to be able Can to see it. anything. And I, I kind of don't expect many people to opt back in because if you were cheating, why why would you? Exactly. It doesn't make any sense to do that. Exactly. And even there were regular gamers that would occasionally get bronze lobbies and get crapped on by the relatively toxic COD community. It's making me more toxic today. This decision, you guys are toxic for a reason, I suppose. Uh, they were getting crapped on for every little bronze lobby, even if it was the random one out of 100. So now cheats are easier to hide. Cool, cool Activision, cool, brilliant. 10 out of 10 decision right there. I don't, I don't even know how that really helps tournaments a, a whole lot. Like, yes, you can't lobby shop now. That's a good thing. Overwolf or whatever won't tell you in 15 seconds if it's a hard game or not, because that's what people were doing. They would load in, look at the thing, be like, that's lobby's too hard, let's bounce, let's go get an easier one. And they do that 10 times until they find an easy lobby and just murder people. Yeah, you can't do that, but if anybody's using any one of the like 10 other cheats that I've seen various YouTubers and streamers reveal this week, we'll have no way of knowing. And I do also agree that there is a reasonable argument against public stats on the grounds of privacy and toxicity. Maybe you don't want everybody to see what times a day you play, or the games you didn't do good, or the people that you were playing with, or when, what, how, where. There is a certain argument about privacy regarding that. And I do feel bad for the legitimately good tournament players and pro players that got butchered by toxic COD gamers because they, they would occasionally too, get man, bronze honest. or silver lobbies or because they played in some remote region of the world that doesn't have enough people or they played early in the morning or some other little relatively innocent thing that made their games easier. Yeah, that's really, that's really nasty. And the conversation around that got incredibly toxic. I tried to step back from it and not engage in that on my channel because I prefer my channel to be positive, educational, uplifting, all that kind of good stuff. And, and see, here's the thing, dog. People were really going hard at drifter like last week and i was like figuring out like why why people are going hard i, I know that blame Truth was making the video like he sold his soul to activation the homies were going super hard at drifter but i got to say blame Truth, he was going pretty lightly at drifter because he understand that well you know what i mean right he was going super lightly but people were really really mad at drifter like to me like i understand where the homie came from i would still say that the huge mistake he made was not revealing how to reverse boost okay he should have done that because he actually tried to be a decent human being he tried to be nice he sent the data over to activision activision screwed him over they literally screwed the whole community and i guess this is a lesson to drifter this is a lesson to all of us right if you know something reveal it okay do not send it to activision but as of today if somebody's cheating or abusing matchmaking 
they can just stop any and all investigation by doing nothing. It's stopped yep. by default. It makes no sense to me. I, like in the very beginning of the video, my, the best analogy is really just like not even sweeping the dirt under the rug, but just throwing the rug on top of the dirt. It's like mm. when you get new carpet and you don't even sweep the baseboards, you just put the carpet on top and be like, good job, ready to go, no problems. Yep. What also sucks about this is that I feel personally responsible. Uh, I'm already getting a lot of crap for it on Twitter and Reddit and my comments and stuff. And I, I really do I'm feel you, responsible. I don't feel good about this. I'm not happy about this. You know, there's all this joke about Activision and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> the decision that I made was not to curry favors or be a little good boy or get paid according to all the conspiracies. I just found a cheat and I found that other people were using it. I wanted to shed light on this and hope... My man did not get paid, okay? Here's the thing, my man did not. Or maybe he did get paid, like, how would I know? How would I know, right? How would I know? Hope to get some kind of company action, make it harder to cheat, and also prevent it from spreading so that the game doesn't devolve into this weird, like, Calvin Ball cheater thing, kind of like our current government, where instead of doing anything good, they just will do these little nitpicking things to avoid the rules and work around it, because that's how it feels right now in matchmaking. Everybody playing Warzone is trying to do little bizarre things to take advantage of the matchmaking system and yep. go smash bad kids, because the skill matching is so strict, it's miserable to play, even in the lobbies that me, a regular YouTuber, plays in. So what I really wanted by keeping my cheat secret and by sending it to Activision was for them to fix it so that the game works normally and that the optics on all of the people in tournaments that were getting way easier lobbies than they should be would have been enough to force a, dis a decision or discussion at least about skill-based matchmaking but instead we got the opposite we got hide everything we got remove everything uh cover up might be an appropriate word yep it is and an appropriate because word because i took the initiative to speak up first and be responsible and do what i thought was in my opinion the right thing I'm gonna get crapped on for it. I'm gonna get blamed for it. I'm Sad gonna take the majority of these L's. And that really sucks. And as, as a creator and as a, a person who tries to do the right thing for this community, no matter how they behave, I do actually try to work in the best. Community. Guys, guys, you gotta stop, okay? You gotta stop bullying my man Drifter, okay? He once took a pump at an airport. He told the story to Eight Thoughts and they did a podcast. So it is definitely some sad times. I know some of you will be like, how is that relevant to this topic? Because oh, it is relevant to this topic. I am no longer motivated to help with these kind of issues. I am no longer interested in being cooperative. The next time too, I man, find something like this, ladies and gentlemen, you will not hear about it because I will personally just take advantage of every single cheat that I can to my own benefit to post amazing gameplay on this channel because the decision seems to be that we would rather ignore it, to rather pretend that it's not there. So in the future, you won't see any big kind of videos like that. You're just gonna notice- Dr Drifter, listen, Drifter, listen, my chat master. You can be the hero of the community. The next time you figure something out, instead of telling Activision about it, T tell the community the whole community will be like yo he's the hero he's the hero everybody will be with you my dog like you don't have to hide it man you don't have to hide it all you had to do as big smoke once said to cj in gta san andreas all you had to do was follow the <laughs> train and in this situation the community is saying instead of sending it to activision give it to the community give it to the people said all of my gameplay is getting a whole lot better this this is just I'm just pissed off now ladies and gentlemen moral of the story here is that Activision Call of Duty skill based matchmaking lobbies definitely do something there has been a lot of conspiracies that it raises blood pressure and in this case it definitely does it okay look at the homie drifter man Activision did him absolutely dirty they did you dirty they did me dirty they did everybody dirty moral of the story you do not send it to Activision you tell it to the community all right share your expertise and as these two ladies once said what are you waiting for subscribe <laughs> Listen to them, check out our video on the screen, and I will see you in the next one, baby.